want to talk to you today about enjoying the journey. There, there's such a thing as what I like to call the ideal average day, and, and you must be living that. Yesterday, I lived my ideal average day, and I've committed to living it again today and every other day. And the thing is, is, is you know, it's so easy not to live it. Let me tell you what it is. See, the ideal average day is the day you could just live again and again and again and again and again. And for me, you know, it, it goes something like this. I wake up in the morning, I, I do my meditation, I go for a walk, I, I do my morning exercise and my stretching. I have coffee with Harriet. I meet my team, my executives at 8 a.m. I smash out outcomes. I record good content. I serve people. I'm able to play sport during the day. I'm speaking to large audiences. I make money. I have fun. I make a difference. And, and that's my perfect day, which then finishes off with an amazing meal, awesome, healthy food that I get to experience a great evening with my family. And that's, that's my ideal average day in short. And I realized on Monday that I hadn't been living it. And it was really interesting because I know this concept and stuff that I've, I've taught people. And isn't it interesting sometimes that we, we forget the stuff that, that we've been telling others to actually live it ourselves. And I, I did a bit of a recap and I realized over the last two months I'd had four ideal average days, only four. I had somehow, you know, failed to either, you know, enjoy playing sports or I failed to, you know, do something Maybe it was my morning routine, but I look back and there was only four. I thought, wow, that's got to change. And so yesterday, uh, I lived my ideal average day. I started this uh, this daily download, um, which I'm super grateful to be able to do every single day. I played tennis. I enjoyed it. I spent time. I did everything. And it, the interesting thing was I had so much energy, you know, because I was hitting and doing all the different things in my life that, that you know, it's, it wasn't like a day that I went and made, you know, half a million dollars or a million dollars. I didn't, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't a big day, but it was just the day that I could keep living. And I really felt called to share it with you guys today is that, you know, it's okay that you fall off because it happens to all of us. You know, you, you're, you're on it, then you fall off. And you, you've got to live more of your ideal average day than less because you're, you know, it's okay to have a bad moment or a bad hour, but never have a bad day. And it, one of the mentors at the moment has reminded me about structure. And I think sometimes the structure of your life is, is going to create more happiness than anything else. And I used to write in uh, when I was teaching people to build their freedom business is that, you know, freedom is systems and freedom is structure. And, and, it, and, it, and I lost it on myself. And so I started to ask myself these questions. How can I create the structure so that when I put the energy when I put more through it, the structure holds true. And so if you think about structures, you think about like, it doesn't matter how many people go into a supermarket, they still have to go through the supermarket the exact same way, the structure. Meaning it doesn't matter how much I'm doing, if I have the structure set up of my day, all that energy and everything I'm doing fit to the structure. Not, you know, I don't, it doesn't lose itself with, with too much to do or, or too much energy or, or too much other things. Does that make sense? The structure is going to hold the, the day together. And so my, uh, my prayer or my download for you today is to set up the daily structure and set up the, the ideal average weekday, the ideal average weekend that you could just live the average, ideal average, and then start living it. Commit to it. Decide what that is. When are you going to work? How much work are you going to do? You know, what sort of work are you going to do? What, what when does your exercise fit in? When does time by yourself? When does reading fit in? When does your meditation fit in? When does your exercise fit in? When does everything fit in? And if you like, you maybe you can take some inspiration from mine. And so mine's broken down into you know a morning solitude by myself with my own meditation, my own walking, my own stretching, my own nutrition. Then it's time with Harriet. We always go for coffee in the morning together. We go to this beautiful cafe. We connect. We plan our day. At 8 a.m., I have time with my executives, the people that are closest to me, building this huge business together. And then I spend my morning from 8 to 12 doing the most important stuff because that's when I'm that's when I'm most excited and most alive. So that's when I'm working on my business, not in it. Then I have exercise, breaks my day up. So I go play tennis, I go play basketball, go play sports, something I enjoy doing that just breaks the day up. And then in the afternoon, I'm working in my business because there's you know to be real right now our business is a massive scale you know we're doing a few hundred thousand dollars a month and, and we're ready to go bigger there's still a lot of things i got to do in the business so working on different processes and things like that and then finishing my day it's back spending time with my family uh reading healthy food feeling good so 
If that gives you inspiration, please leave a comment below. Um, I'm really enjoying just, just getting on the camera and just flowing with no script. So I hope that you enjoyed it as well. Let me know if you did. Share it if you think others need to hear this and live your ideal average day. I'll see you tomorrow.